Welcome to the fourth episode of the Soapbox Top 5 Ways of Getting the Most Value Out of Your ServiceNow Environment. I am Mark Chen and I'm at the Soapbox offices. If you do hear some noise in the background, it's because stuff is being done. Paul, Vice President of Product Marketing and Co-Founder at Soapbox AI is with us today. How are we doing today, Paul? We're doing great, thanks, Mark. What are we going to be talking about? So today we're talking about the high cost of staff chain. So for those of you who've just joined us, we are talking about getting the most value out of your service now environment. Paul, take it away. So yeah, one of the greatest challenges that customers have is the impact of departing staff from a service organization. Mm. So typically when those staff leave, they take with them organizational knowledge and experience that's very difficult to get back into the organization. And traditionally, the way you do that is you go through an onboarding process with new staff and they could take you know, anywhere from weeks to months before they become effective. So it does sound like a longer time to train your staff and to be more effective in the old, in the traditional way. How does Sophie for Service now shortcut all of that? So uh, look, at, you're absolutely right. There, there is a long lead time um, to for training that has cost. The other impact, of course, is that business productivity is uh, impacted as people can't get answers answers to the right questions. Right. But to answer your question, how does Sophie address that? As you know, Sophie is a, a, a self-learning um, you know, system that's observing how agents perform work and we're capturing that knowledge. So when a new agent comes on board, rather than having to go through the traditional approach of onboarding, which there'd still be some of, but we can circumvent a lot of that by providing um, real-time access to, to information as it comes in. So as a, as a caller comes in and asks about a specific issue, Sophie's there prompting the, uh, the new agent with right. you know, either the questions to ask or knowledge or procedures to follow that normally would only be available through you know, years of experience. Yeah, and obviously it's like you're not getting that out of a manual either, it's served to you in real time. Yeah, absolutely. The way it actually works, and we'll show you that in a second, is we, we kind of turn the, the Sophie Virtual Agent in on itself and present the, the agents with the, the conversational virtual agent and essentially the virtual agent is guiding the, the new agent through how to do a you know, follow-up process. Right. And that has a number of benefits. A, it makes, um, ensures that there's consistency in the way that new agent or all the agents are following a, a given process, but also we can track um, from a governance point of view that they have um, actually performed those steps because we're recording that information along the way. Fantastic. Well, that sounds like a great segue into a demo, Paul. Sure, sure. Let's have a look at um, uh, a ServiceNow um, incident screen. And we'll take you through a couple of examples. The first one is a, a password reset assistance. So essentially you know, what this scenario will do is there is a, a process by which a, an agent can reset someone's password by asking them key questions, so right. security questions. So this is normally something that you would, uh, an agent would need to know about those questions and look that up, mm -hmm. uh, on, on what the process is, but we can have the virtual agent guide that uh, agent through this. So if we you know, type something like uh, forgotten, email password. Uh, there's a couple of things that are happening. You can see that uh, Sophie's automatically predicting the, the category and subcategory, so we yep. don't, there's no more guesstimate, um, guesstimating what uh, the right uh, classification of this record is. Mm -hmm. and we're also providing some knowledge down here, so maybe there's some you know, useful knowledge that might be relevant to help this, um, this poor new agent who's on their first day of work trying to, uh, to cope with things. But the third icon that you haven't seen in previous demos is um, this virtual agent icon. So Sophie's popped up and said, oh, it looks like um, that email application uses our single sign-on. Uh, I've got the ability to check the, the, accounts, the Active Directory account status, uh, which Sophie's saying um, looks fine. Would you like to reset the password? And so bear in mind now that the, the, the agent has been used to really coach and guide the virtual agent who's having a conversation with the customer on the end of the phone with these questions. Right, right. So they might be saying, okay, I can reset your password if you can answer these security questions. Would you like to proceed? Yes, I would. Uh, what was your first car? In this case, it's a BMW. You know, uh, in what city or town did your, mother, uh, father and, uh, your mother and father meet? I think it was Boston. Let's have a look. 
um, and New York is the answer to this question. So this is obviously a conversation that the agent is having with a customer on the phone. Right. Um, the agent is, is populating this information into the virtual agent screen. Right. The, the, um, the virtual agent's gone and, and validated uh, that those questions, are, these answers are correct, yep. and then reset the password, and then obviously suggesting to the agent, ask the customer if they can now re-log log in. Again, that's like a 15 minute process done in two minutes. And yeah, all, and, all, and all done without without any prompting from the uh, from the human agent. Exactly, and bear in mind that this this um, agent could, it could be the first day on the job. They've had no 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 training, no onboarding how to deal with this particular type of issue. Right. Um, the system is is coaching them through it. Yeah. So you now one more uh, example, which is more of a kind of a governance type uh, example. So let's say we've got a situation where there's um, someone calling up in the field. Uh, and they need to get approval to get a, uh, a ground crew, an earthworks crew out to, to dig up a drain or something like that. But there's a cost associated with that. So the, the, the policy within the organisation is to, you need to um, validate that the on-site technician has gone through all of their fault finding to make sure that they absolutely need to get a ground crew on there. Because the last thing you want to do is spend a whole lot of money if they, they um, just fail to, to perform some simple diagnostic. So in this case, if we um, type in something like ground crew, ground crew uh, required, we'll see what, uh, so you can see here that we've automatically classified that, uh, that call again. Um, and Sophie's popped up to say, okay, it looks like um, you need authorization for earthworks mm. to be performed. Uh, before I issue one, I need to run through a checklist. Is that okay? Sure. Now, are there any good pairs available? No, there's no good pairs. Um, is this a faulty cable or joint? Oh, we think it's a faulty cable. Uh, is it a distribution? It's a distribution one. Is it buried? How, how far away is the fault? Oh, let's say it's, um, it's 10 meters away. And it, you can see here we're actually, the information we're capturing can be populated on the form. Yep. Um, over here, okay, I'll, I'll, uh, that sounds fine. I'm gonna give you uh, some information to proceed. So that mechanism of being able to easily guide someone through a, a fairly complicated procedure that mm. maybe only one or two people in the organization previously knew about, yep. and they would have to be assigned this ticket to ask those questions, and now making that available to anyone on the team. Right, so instead of escalating it, you can, your, your, your agent now can solve it on the spot without have, knowing anything about Earthworks. That's right, and the other key thing is if I, um, if I, um, uh, finish that that process. We're actually capturing that activity in the work notes of the call. Right. So, from a governance point of view, when someone comes along and says, "Hey, that was an inappropriate call out," um, they can go back and say, "Well, I've answered all the questions. I've asked all the questions. Answered the, um, them appropriately, and that authorised me to do it." So, also providing that governance overlay. Fantastic. That, that was a great demo, Paul. I can definitely see how Sophie would be in awesome asset for an organization in terms of reducing the risk of organizational knowledge leaving uh, walking out the door yeah absolutely it's, a, it's, a, it's such a key area and such a, we used to refer to these things in the past as expert systems and that's essentially what we're providing we're providing a way to right. to capture that organizational knowledge reduce the risk of that that knowledge leaving with the person and at, at the same time providing better productivity uh, back to the business because when those uh, questions come in you've got you know years and years of organization knowledge captured within within the system mm -hmm. so it's it's good all around right well that's it that's episode number four for you wrapped up next week we'll be wrapping up the whole series with your fifth on how to get the most value out of your ServiceNow environment. In the meantime, Paul, where can we go to find out more about Soapbox? You can head straight to our website, soapbox.ai. Lots of information on there. You can also sign up for a, a trial of Sophie, so you can try Sophie in your own ServiceNow environment. And you can also um, check out a, a demo of, or register for a demo of our new Soapbox Intelligent Service Management Platform. Fantastic, see you next time.